Hey everyone, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back with another IAAI walk around auction. And we have found some very cool cars. In fact, I think one of my all time favorites is here. And we'll show you that in just a moment. But first I wanna say thanks to everybody at the Tulsa facility because they've been gracious enough to let me kind of go in and take a look at some of their cool cars. You can bid on cars just like this. They are easy. Most of them are for sale to the public. Hubba, hubba, hubba right there and you can bring one of them home. So I wanna show you some of your options. They also have dealers come in here because there are some cars that are dealer only, but major I would say a majority of them are open for sale to the public, including a good looking Mustang <laughs> right there. Let's check it out. That's the next day. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm in the car. Look at this beauty. Sure, you need headlights and a cross member and a bumper. I bet a lot of that's in the car though. I'm learning that they put a lot of the parts in the car. Look at the wheels. I love that. I really, really, really do. Okay, what we have here is a silver Mustang, and they started to look almost like Camaros with the rear bulges over their rear wheels, in my opinion. Yep, this is a 2016 Ford Mustang, so you might need a hood. Well, okay, that's unfortunate. You might need a bumper, straighten that out right there. But check this out, she's beautiful. She has a lot of potential. Let's see what she looks like on the inside. And there's your pieces. There's all your pieces right there. Okay. Yep, there's your bumper, your cross member, your wheel liners, everything in the trunk. It's a pass-through trunk, obviously. I can't sit down, but automatic transmission. Uh, look at this, this is nice. Push start, nice little sound system right there. I really like my 2007. This is, of course, a huge step up. Let's see what it is working with. I don't know if we can open the hood or not. Let's just kind of see here. It may be open. I, a lot of times I try these beforehand. A lot of times I don't. This is one of those times where I don't. Yep. We're just gonna kind of wing it. See what's gonna happen. Yep, it's open. Okay. There it is. It's a six cylinder. But she looks good. Yeah. She does look good. Lots of parts that you need though. Okay, start pricing, start adding it up. The uh, arms are straight, it looks like. That's not a big deal. That fender is okay. This fender, just the point, you can certainly save that one. Okay, the hood, if you're good with bodywork, you might be able to save it. I don't know, you got this little piece right here. And this is kind of pushed down right there. So she did take a little bit of a fold. Yeah, you're gonna need a hood and the bumper and the headlights. So what is that, $3,000 at least? Maybe, I love that silver. I used to hate silver cars, but I keep buying them. I don't know why, but I keep buying them. She's pretty. I found you, yes sir, this is what I've been looking for. Check out the SL. You know Mike loves his SLs and this is nice, yep. Even though I'm not an OU person, this is a nice SL550. Remember Rusty? Yeah, remember my SL500 I had? This is the newer body style. And I think she's looking like she's a blue. I don't know what happened right here though. This is kind of concerning. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, this is a 2009 Mercedes SL550. I don't think you can open this. Yeah, I can't because what would do that? What would go in there and do that though? Holy moly. So we have wrap on the windshield, which is totally blown. Okay. Same color as Rusty on the inside. Just like Rusty on the inside. Let me put a little bag down here with my water in it. And let's check her out. Okay, this is an easy fix right here. 
that's a super easy fix. Let's just sit down. This is bringing back memories. I loved that car. I didn't like the way it drove though. It had some suspension issues and that was gonna be expensive. So I sent it to auction. Rusty is driving the streets of Oklahoma City right now. Look at this. Okay, so you do need a windshield. This shows 75,000 miles uh, when it needed an oil change in 2021. But it looks like your screens are going to be good. You got those LCD screens that go bad. Uh, you've got the parking sensor right there. This looks good. The wood is in really good shape. I just don't know what happened to the engine. Wow, what would happen to the engine? Oh, it does open. Okay, let's just kind of see what's going on here. I love this. I really, really do. This is nice. Okay, you need the trim piece for the windshield. There we go. Let's just take a look right here and just kind of see what happened. Where is the opening part? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Here it is. Okay. There we go. Well, that's a surprise. I think something just kind of like a spear was thrown at this car. What? Yeah. You do need a headlight unless there's one in the trunk. I th what happened? Because there's no, there's no damage. I mean, this right here, that's minimal. The strut's okay. This is okay. What would cause that to go down? Something just came in and went, just like that. Tornado sending a tree or something through there? That is bizarre. That is really bizarre. Okay. Trying to see what else might be damaged. I don't see anything else. It didn't even, it didn't even, you got a little scratch right there. Nothing hurt, nothing hurt. You got a dead bug right there. Oh, this would be a good car for somebody. This would really be a good car for somebody. Wow. Okay, let's close this. There we go. Yowza. Okay. I know she's gonna be dead. I just know it. But what a nice place this is. You got the covers on your key right there. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, oh. She's trying to lift. Yeah, okay, we're gonna take that out. So there is power, look at the screens. Those are good. Those are really good. Has Mike found another SL? Cause you know it's gonna run and drive. You know, absolutely 100%. The top probably even works on this. And what about the trunk? The trunk opens. Let's see what's in the trunk. Holy guacamole. There it is. Is there a headlight in the trunk? Yes, sir. There you go. There's your headlight right there. Is it damaged? How much is a headlight for one of these? And a phone screen, or what is this? Oh, your sunshade, okay. Look at the little connectors. Th that will work. <clears throat> so you probably, you're missing one right here, but I think you can buy that part because it should look like this. Absolutely, here's your window trim piece. Here's some new little center caps right there for your wheels. Yes, sir. Wow, this, even though it has an OU sticker, sorry, I'm an OSU fan. Ooh, Mikey likey so much. Mikey likey so much. This is gonna be for sale tomorrow. How much monies do I have? That is so tempting. So very tempting. What about damage on the bumper? Okay, replace this, that's okay. The bumper's fine. That bumper's good. Holy guacamole. 
Look at that. Is it gray, blue? Yeah. Look at the color. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Mike's in lust. Even has AMG wheels. Check those out. Yes, sir. Check, check, check. It checks all the boxes. Absolutely. How about a 2017 Toyota 86 is what it says on the sticker, a Toyota 86. Is this some kind of a fancy Supra? I don't know. I, I'm not very familiar with the Toyota. This one has some issues in the back. Yeah, she took a little bit of a hit in the back. So that's why she's here at the auction. But she's a good looking car. She really is. What is an 86? Somebody school me on these cars. I need to learn about them. There's 86 everywhere. I'm guessing 86 horsepower. No, not at all. Look at this, automatic. Uh, okay, you get your keys right there. You get some little pieces right here as well. It's a little car. There's no back seat room at all. Little stereo. I like it though. Someone's been working on it in the back. They've been checking out the damage on that quarter panel right there. But the battery's dead. Window won't even go up. <clears throat> Mike's losing his voice. He's been talking for so much. Ugh, so long today. Let's see what's under here. Toyota D45 Boxer Subaru. Okay. A little joint venture here with a little boxer engine this is cool this is really really cool let me balance the hood on my head we'll just check out the oil very quickly so there is oil that's good that's really good battery's okay look brake fluid is perfect perfect you get windshield wiper fluid the coolant looks good as well so all the fluids everything looks good this is a starter, I guarantee you she'll start. She's just not closing very well. And you have that issue <laughs> right here. I don't wanna give her up. I don't wanna walk away. Mikey likes this car. Holy crap. And for somebody, because you look at the hood and you think that's gonna be a lot of damage and the engine's totaled and all that kind of stuff. And no, that's not the issue at all. Something, somebody threw a spear right in there. It was just from right there. Yeah. But the rest of the car does look good. It does look really, really good. So what do I do? Do I spend all my money on one car and hope I can fix it and hope I can fix a fender? So I need a fender and a hood. How much is a hood for a newer one of these? They're hard to find. I'd have to go to Dallas. I'd say six, 600 at least. A fender probably three. So that's a thousand. Plus the trip down there is 1100. I don't know what the buy it now is. I want to say it's like 5,000, 5,300. Maybe that's what the bidding is at. I don't know, but I like it. So we're going to follow this car. We are definitely going to follow this car when it comes up for auction here at IAA. Mwah. Yeah, Mikey likes. Mikey really likes. Here we go, make a little heart. Yep, that's it. Okay, folks, that's going to do it for another walk around. Thank you to everybody here at IAA Auto Auction for letting me come back here and check out all of these very, very cool cars. If you want a sticker, don't forget, cash at me, binsguy99, and I'll send you a sticker for $3. Make sure you send me a picture of the sticker on your car, and we'll do a video on that. I have all kinds of merchandise underneath here as well, and I'm thinking about starting a Patreon account to give some of my uh, most loyal viewers early access to videos and all that kind of stuff, and live streams, and more. All right, so let me know what you think about that. Should I do a Patreon? Because, you know, this is my only source of income right now. Let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. I've just hit 30,200 and something subscribers. Perfecto. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.